Hi all. Um, today we're going to talk about the concept of security levels on the PICS and ASA interfaces. Um, you know, after I think the last uh, six version of PICS was 635, then they went into the 70 series. And starting there, the, um, the PICS and ASA command line is the same. So they're pretty much interchangeable here. Um, the big difference, I guess, for between PICS and ASA is PICS is end of life, and going forward you'll see less of those and more ASA, ASA is taking their place. Um, anyway, we're just going to use the term ASA to, to reference both, but again, as long as you're running a version 7 or higher um, on your PICS, then, uh, then these commands will apply to PICS as well as ASA. Um, so again, today we're going to concentrate on... Um, on the concept of the interface security levels and I have um, this topology here which is uh, there's our firewall we've got an internal segment on the 10 10 10 a DMZ segment on the 20 20 20 our public segment is the 100 100 100 all slash 24s and then out to the internet <clears throat> um, so I've already configured a uh, very minor configuration in the firewall. Currently, I've just changed the host name to match our lab name for uh, FW1, Firewall1. I've um, IP'd and uh, put the uh, zone levels on the interfaces uh, inside DMZ and outside, and I put a default route pointing out to the ISP. That's all the config I have in here. No access list, no access groups, no natting, no, no nothing applied. Um, so here you can see we have E0s outside, security level 0, um, E1 is inside security level 100, E2 is the DMZ, security level 50. So the basic concept behind the um, security levels on the interfaces is, is this. <clears throat> you can go from a more secure interface, 100 is the most secure, and 0 is the least secure. So you can go from a more secure to a less secure interface um, without needing any uh, access list rules. So if you have no access list applied to the more secure interface, you're allowed to go through to a less secure interface uh, unimpeded, right? So you could go from inside to outside, inside to DMZ, DMZ to outside, uh, no problem as long as you don't have any access list uh, denying that. Uh, if you don't even have an access list applied to the, to the more secure interface, you're good to go. And then, uh, of course, the opposite is true as well. You cannot go from a less secure interface to a more secure interface unless you have an access list uh, bound to that uh, less secure interface that explicitly permits what you're trying to do. So if you have no ACL, again, by default you can go from inside to DMZ because you're going from more secure to less secure, but with no ACL on the DMZ, you cannot go from DMZ to inside because you're trying to get from a less secure to a more secure interface. It would be denied unless you actually create an access list and apply it to the DMZ to allow that to happen. So again, you can go from more secure to less secure, DMZ to outside, but you cannot go from less secure to more secure, DMZ to inside, unless you're explicitly permitting that with an access list bound to the interface. <clears throat> and again, we don't have any access lists applied to any of the interfaces at this point, so I'll just show you the basic concept. If we go to this DMZ server 1 host over here, we're going to try and get to PC1 over here. So again, we're going from less secure to more secure, and it shouldn't work, of course, because I don't have any ACLs on any interfaces, as we said. And so uh, to go from less secure to more secure should be denied. So if we tell that to that host on 80, it's trying. If we look in the firewall and do a show log, I've turned logging on. You can see here that inbound connection denied from our DMZ host 2020-2010 towards our internal host 10 10 10 10 on port 80. Um, that's coming inbound on interface DMZ, right? Um, let me show you the reverse, however. So if we're on PC1, we're now on the more secure, or actually the most secure interface inside security level 100. We should be able to get to, because we don't have any access list bound to the, uh, the inside interface, we should be able to get to the DMZ host uh, unimpeded. And there you go, we're connected. Because <clears throat> more secure to less secure is allowed when you don't have any access list bound to the inside interface, right? Um, that's the basic concept behind it. Now I'll just show you, um, just reinforce it a bit by, um, let's try this for example. We'll create an access list called uh, DMZ ACL and to keep it simple we'll uh, permit full IP from anyone to anyone. So it's all TCP UDP ports from any source to any destination and we're going to bind that with the access group command <clears throat> to the um, 
DMZ interface. Um, so access group uh, DMZ ACL, which is the ACL name we created, permitting anything. And we're going to uh, bind it inbound on the interface called DMZ, right? So it's bound. Here's the firewall over here. This is the DMZ interface. We've bound that ACL to this interface coming into the firewall. So it's going out to the internet and going to the inside, but it's coming into the firewall from the DMZ segment. So now, if we go back to our DMZ host, we should be able to tell it to the internal host, and there you have it. No problem, right? Um, because now we have the ACL bound to the uh, DMZ interface, that's permitting anything. So that is now allowed. Um, I guess that's it. I should point this out, I guess, and, and we'll get into this in the next lab. Um, if we do show run NAT control, you can see that uh, by default now, no NAT control is the uh, the default configuration in the ASAs. And uh, uh, what that means is you don't need NAT in order to, uh, to, to get through uh, the firewall. We're not controlling access using NAT. Um, it used to be like in PIX version 6. Um, there was no, you know, no NAT control command, so you had to have NAT statements. So not only would you need an access list to allow the traffic to go from the DMZ to the inside, but you would also have to have a translation of some sort, a static NAT usually to go from less secure to more secure, but you could have a, uh, a NAT exemption or, or uh, so on and so forth. And again, we won't get into that now because we're going to get into that probably in the next video. Anyway, one of the upcoming labs, we'll, we'll get in more into um, NAT. Um, okay, so I just wanted to point that out, uh, how the, the concept of the uh, interface security levels work. Um, hopefully uh, um, that's clear. If you have any questions, you know, leave a comment on YouTube and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, thanks for watching.